Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Goetia. Got a lot of stuff to look at, and a ghost of a cat that's gone missing, so let's see if we can find them. This box is familiar. Annie. Seth, at last. I beg you, don't leave me alone in here. There he goes. Where are you off to this time? Okay. You want to get up here, do you? Such a shame I never used my talents as a locksmith. Uh, do you want this blanket, Seth? Let me find a way to bring you here. Okay. So what else do we have here? Nothing he's hysteric in these books for a change. They're just technical manuals. A small dark room. Fantastic. A few scribbled notes. Twelfth November, nineteen forty. My labyrinth is complete. I feel a curious mixture of excitement and peace of mind. When I'm inside, I feel the performance. I, I feel profound quietude. There, I feel safe. Each part of this labyrinth is connected to a nearby uh, to a memory, firmly established in the real world. Today's world, that's still protected. Here is my work, Gabriel. Hodgkin's whole life right in front of you. This task complete, I still can't help myself, wondering what would become of me should the object be a, a compass, a book, a pen. What about a living being? Despite my thirst for knowledge, I know that time is of the essence, something I, I don't find frustrating at all. My new existence will start very soon. I couldn't be happier. I feel sorry for Alexander, who remains anxious about the whole idea, but I understand his fears, even if I deem them childish and un unjustified. What will Robert and Edmund, uh, what will Robert and Edward th think when they learn about this project? This anxiety, however, is only temporary. Nothing can overcome this state of abandon, this blessed state of the soul and sweet clarity that comes with it. So it is, and it has been written. Soon I will join Father in his garden, in an era when only the immediate present matters. A present that is thin, but infinite. The roar of the machines and the explosions tear through the skies more every day. Every night I hear the bombs, uh, the bombers over the roofs, May the war spare Blackwood and Darkmarsh. Coventry wasn't so lucky. Time is short, and I fear we might not have time to finish the preparations. So that's this is the reason for this, is it? This is this. They they're using their knowledge to escape the fears of the world. Um, in a very very scary time as well. I mean, I don't think the world had ever experienced war on that scale before. Destruction on that scale. And you can well understand why people would be afraid. But that's not getting this cat to this blanket. And I think I know how. I think it's got something to do with this. I can't go that way, but I can go that way. Let's go and find the other one of those, which is all the way down here. <clears throat> this screwdriver is in good condition, J. 
just what we need. A tool like this is always useful to keep around. So let's possess that. Uh, let's just pop in here quickly because I seem to recall someone was apparently too small to achieve their goal. I left the same trace here. Wink. Okay, right, let's put this. There we go. Uh, went in the back, we set it up to the top. We'll see that later on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's have a quick look at this before moving on. Eighteen ninety five. I'm willing to bet that is a clue. Now, who was born in eighteen ninety five? Was Abigail born in eighteen ninety five? Let's see. What do we What do we know? Um, hidden room next to the kitchen. Okay, that's 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 not relevant. The observatory. No. No. Gabriel's folly. My nephew, it still feels strange to say. I was indeed conducting research on the Gretia together with Annie, and his maze led me to a part of his neighbours. If this sigil, as I suspected is, is Nepenius' opposite sigil, I should be able to reach the upper floors without hindrance. Now, that's not helping us. Now, we didn't we have pictures of these guys with their birth dates on them? I'm sure we did. Just kind of a case of remembering where. I think we've gone too far. Let's have a little hunt around quickly. Here we go. Annie Hodgkin, 1940. Yeah. This is the children. Dear Mrs. Ward, the housekeeper. Okay, so Okay, oh yes, of course, they showed their ages, didn't they? Except for on that one. Okay, so it looks like We're lacking some information there, aren't we? I've not seen this one. There's a note hidden in the frame. In remembrance of our discoveries and of hard-working sleepless nights, this forest will miss you, Anton. Anton, the name doesn't ring a bell. You might have some answers for me. The woods are behind the manor. I should follow this lead. Eldritch Forest is now accessible. It's located east of the manor. It is possible to come back to the manor at any time simply by going there or clicking on the map. Okay, alright. 
I think we opened up there. Okay, confession time. This uh, um, got a bit messed up, so I had to go back to an earlier save and replay a bit. I think I missed clicking on that, but that's my mistake. This is a photograph that's seen better days. I can't make anything out. Okay, let's just try. Let's try a couple of things here. There's no harm in that. Okay, so nine. Well, it can't be nineteen forty because there's not a zero here. Okay, so. All right, so nineteen. So that's eighteen ninety-five, six, seven, eight, nine. Too much to ask that. Okay, so nineteen forty-one. No. No, none of those. Okay, right. We'll get some clues to that later on. I should imagine. In the meantime, let's actually get something done. If we can. Let's save a kitty. And up we go. Uh, up some more, I think. Here we go. Screwdriver, floating screwdriver. Ooh. All right. Now we should be able to take that up here because there's no physical obstruction, and I'm willing to bet. There you go, Seth. I miss your purring so much. I just wish I could stay here forever and listen to it. That cute. But it also gives me the courage I needed, and I must press on. Let's put this screwdriver back, because I'm getting the feeling we're going to need it. But, like, guys, we've given the comfort to the ghost of a cat. Isn't that a nice thing? Right, we'll leave that for later on. Still can't go up that way. Okay. Right, let's go up. Hey, cold! Hello, Seth. Kitty, what do you want? Tell me, don't be shy. Read, here, now, alone? No, not alone. Blackwood, Blackwood, a manor and a family, always together, always united. Many claim to be attached to their land, but how many claim, clans can truly say their land is literally flows through their veins? To be part of its walls, to watch until death the over-cradle uh, that gave us birth. This project is a sweet and bitter madness that only mother could create, Without her, without her vision, her curiosity, her acute analysis, I would never would have been part of such an adventure. But my faith in her is unconditional and working with her fills me with a pride. 
Despite the haunting fear that overcomes me sometimes when I gaze at the abyss that we have opened together, and through which we are about to jump with delight. Did we do what was best? Best for everyone? I'm sure of it, even though I become more anxious about it with every breath. I take even if my human weaknesses are sometimes made prevalent than my courage, my loyalty and my gratitude are unfailing. Blackwood will collapse. Blackwood is already a tomb, but Blackwood shall live on. I feel it necessary to write these words, even if I'll be the only one to read them. The world is thundering, burning and collapsing around us, and doesn't deserve to know our story, our ambition or our efforts. If civilization still persists after this, it will be weak and sad like the remains of a bad wine at the bottom of a dull glass. Now, time either flies, nor is it short. Mother, throughout your entire work, you always demonstrated dignity and righteousness. Words fail to express my gratitude and your nobility. Father, you were the shadow through which we faced the light, May you be proud of us. Edward, Robert, joyful prodigies, forgive us for having f fooled you in order to save you. Wait for us. Alexander, my dear brother, I admired and cursed your resistance and your determination in this struggle, the outcome of which was already decided. My last thought is for you, Abigail, my aunt. Out of a, a pleasant memory, Mother drew her strength, her will, and her courage. I wished I could know you, here or elsewhere, or, or anywhere else. Okay. Look at this fear. I'm so cold. Oh, right. Uh, I in a keyhole, an old woman, and a stairway to the moon. Never. It's forbidden. Never, you hear me. Okay. <clears throat> I was expecting that, actually. Dirty. Very dirty. Seth, do you have nothing else to tell us? Do you have nothing else to tell us? And I think... Yes, there's... Looks like there's one more room up there. And I'm willing to bet anything that's the last room we need to go to. And we have... Looks like three more demonic presences elsewhere in the manor but we have this down here and these exits in either direction where can we teleport down to there that'll do okay so let's go through this way I remember these bottles thing must have been here for a long time. The tap on this oak cast is covered in rust. Nobody's been drinking beer for a while. Some are empty, others full. It's wine, apparently. Or maybe vinegar. A solitary tape. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> hmm. A solitary tasting session. Yes, the cold hasn't gone yet. It's lurking. Right. Oh, okay, so we can get it back up that way. Okay, so what do we have here? 
What am I supposed to find amongst all this rubbish? I don't know. Have a look. Right. I recognise the panelling from my bedroom. What have they done with it? Yes, we haven't found her bedroom yet, have we? A milk can. It's empty and possessable. Okay. Interesting pictures, most of which don't really fit the theme. What do we have here? Ah, okay. This is probably these are probably the Kickstarter backers. Oh, well, guys, congratulations. I think your money was well spent. Okay, so right, we have a, a possessable milk cone there. I didn't know the manor had a cellar. It doesn't seem new, though. The mechanism's cables go down this well. Each clue takes me deeper underground. What am I going to find down there? Well, we shall find out next day. Oh, what do we have here? Let's have a quick look at this first. What? That's my portrait. And all these candles. It's like a mausoleum. I don't feel at ease here. These flowers are my favourite, even like this, withered and dull. Annie was the only one who knew how much I liked them. No chain, and no picture inside either. This pendant looks so lonely. Its shape is quite unusual. And it's possessable. Anyway, as I was saying... Yeah. This metal beam seems to be supporting the ceiling, and some massive mechanism as well. As I was saying, I think we've done enough for one episode. And so until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the ghost of the lovely Abigail Blackwood. You looked a little sulky there, to be totally honest with you. Thank you. And good night.